Absolutely, you know, very balanced attack. You know, we've faced some awful good players this year, and uh, these two guys are the next in line for that. You know, we very, very talented running back, maybe the, the most complete, you know, running back in terms of being able to catch the ball in space, and and uh, obviously as a as a true tailback, does a great job of getting his pads downhill. Very, very good balance, um, tremendous speed, and uh, good player. You know, so really uh, going to be a big challenge for our whole defense to be able to to swarm him and to tackle him well and uh, because of the quarterback skill set his ability to throw and and the way that their offense has evolved uh, utilizing his ability to run and throw um, even as you see as the seasons progressed um, makes it tough you know because you obviously have to be able to count for him in, in the run game because his legs are very effective uh, not a big guy but a uh, very smart runner very instinctive in the way that he's able to um, extend plays in the passing game, really force you to, to be honest and, and true to your your um, attack on the protections. And if you, if you give him a crease, he'll take advantage of it. And then also just being a good passer, you know. So he's kind of the, you know, in today's offenses, he's what, what guys are looking for, you know, to be able to have that combination of the, the running and the throwing. And and, uh, and he's just got that, that moxie to him. You know, he's just kind of one of those guys you can just tell that, Loves to play the game, you know, a lot of respect for him for that. And, and you can tell he's a good leader just by the way he runs that offense, you know. So quality, quality opponent that uh, is playing really well right now. Looking back at a game like Rutgers, and, you, and that one for 16 sat on third down, I mean, is that as big as anything for you as a mm -hmm. defensive coordinator? Yeah, be yes, because I don't believe we've ever held anybody to zero you know, on third downs, you know, and so for them to only convert one, and that one they converted was the touchdown right after the fumble and the, the start of the third quarter. So that was a third and two that they that they converted on the goal line. So uh, to be able to be that dominant in that situation, uh, really, really proud of our, our players. Boy, they stepped up, and, you know, it's, it's like anything else. It's a team effort. You know, it was our D-line getting pressure. It was our, you know, linebackers and, and secondary in both coverage and pressures, we do a combination of those with, with that group as well. And, and our coaches, you know, I just uh, the guys up front and, and our guys are off the field guys that help us scheme and, and attack third downs, you know. So uh, just really, uh, you know, uh, Jeff McInerney is the guy that we've hired as a quality control coach that, that does a lot of study in the film room and, and helps us with those situations for sure. So, you know, definitely a team effort, you know, but be able to hold a team, I don't care who it is, you know, and they had really improved, you know, against uh, Minnesota in that area. And the, the quarterback had kind of found his groove and, and uh, got some, had some big targets out there on the perimeter. So, so really, really pleased with our guys. And, and I really believe that was a huge key to our success, you know, just allowing us to get off the field, giving our offense the ball back, you know, forcing those 10 punts uh, because of those three and outs, or excuse me, those third down stops were really, really, really key for us. So uh, total team effort by, uh, by the Hoosiers and really proud of our guys. We did. Matter of fact, I uh, um, paused a, a clip to our staff and said, "That's what it's supposed to look like." You know, just you could just tell he was running. The, he was running the defense, grabbing guys, moving them, and you know he's always been awesome as a person. He just needs to be be louder, you know, and, and just more confident and more in charge. And and that's not his, his natural personality. And and so we really had to just kind of pull it out of him. And I was so proud of him. And I wanted to make sure I made a big deal to our staff about that's what it looks like. And then in our team meeting on Sunday, you know, called it out in a positive way and said, I'm proud of you, Marcus. That's exactly, that's what we need. That's what that position demands. And it's great to hear that the guys recognize that too, because it was obvious to me that he took a step forward. And a lot of it is just, it's his confidence and making sure he knows exactly what he's doing, that nobody wants to speak up and then be wrong. You know, that's human nature, you know, so I just feel like as, as time has passed on and he's continued to grow in his knowledge and confidence of playing, he's able to, to do that. He did. No, they're not. And, you know, first of all, your, your first point about Tigre, you know, obviously in that situation, they didn't have any timeouts left. 
And so we talk to our players you know, before we take the field about keeping them in bounds. You know, first of all, a sack can often end the game because they don't give them a chance to, to run any more plays. And then if they catch the football, keep them in bounds. And you can see him right there. That guy's about a yard. Matter of fact, his, his feet swing around. They go out of bounds but don't touch the ground. And he keeps that ball in there and, and uh, almost look like a wrestling move he put on the guy. But uh, just a great heads-up play by T. Gray. It just shows you that he understands what we're trying to do and in that situation. But, you know, we, you know, when, whenever we meet on Sundays, the first thing I do is always ask them, I, you tell me, what do you think? Before I say anything, I want to know what their thoughts are after they had a chance to, to sleep on the game and, and uh, just what they feel. And, and they're usually, they pretty much understand what, what's going on. And so they talked about giving up a couple plays in the beginning and giving up a couple plays at the end. And so we talked about, you know, the way we start and the way we finish. And so that's two weeks in a row where, yeah, the game was, we had a two score situation. And, uh, you know, but you don't get the onside kick, they're throwing the ball for a Hail Mary to win the game. You know, so obviously very, very um, important to understand that we have to finish. And the week before, you know, similar situation. You know, we get that penalty, untimed down, you know, still we, we want to finish. And so both games, even though you're excited, you find a way to win you walk off the field frustrated knowing that we're not finishing. And so to me, you just got to keep, you know, keep emphasizing it until we get what we want. We're not going to, you know, let up on that point. But, yeah, very, very important to, to start strong and finish well. Well, I think it takes the pressure off of them. You know, I, I think any time you, know, you play this style of offense where, you know, you're not just downhill blocking and pocket protecting all the time and you got a quarterback that, that uh, doesn't really extend the play with his legs, it just puts more pressure on your O-line. You know, they've got to be – they've got to be better, you know. And so I think in, in this system, you know, they have a little bit of wiggle room. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to have the perfect protection. He can extend the play. You know, they can, they can miss a guy and, and, and you don't even know it. He can, he can account for that. And when you spread people out in today's spread offenses, you know, they can, they can miss a block and just maybe just wall the guy or just get in his way and it's good enough. Whereas in, in, in the previous system, they had to get a physical push to, to run the football and they had to form walls to protect them in the pass game and, and, and all the protection, you know, nuances that that creates. And so now, you know, we, you know as you defend it, you know, you realize that they don't have to have that same kind. Obviously, if they the better O-line they have, the, the more effective it can be. But you can function with some, some guys that may not have that uh, high-level skill set that, uh, that some would need in, in another system. So I think their offensive line is playing a whole lot better. because And they've had some injuries, like everybody has. You know, there's not a team in America that's not dealing with that this time of the year. But uh, other guys have had to step up, and, and I'm sure they'll have their whole group ready to roll for that. It's a lot, you know. I, I think that uh, that was another guy. You know, we, we try to go through, and, and, when, and when you when you watch the film, and, and we were able to watch it, you know, coming back on the flight and and take and take notes, and, and his his play jumped out to me because you know, he's the guy obviously that we missed early on, and you know, got a chance to get him back, and and it just took a while. He missed all spring, he missed all fall camp, so he comes back and he plays. But he's still really not, you know, he doesn't know the system as well, hasn't got a lot of reps. And so now to have a guy with his kind of explosiveness off the edge is a big, big boost. And then there was a play in, in, in on the third and long, another one, where, you know, we, we were in coverage and he, you know, trailed back on the quarterback and ran him down from the backside. Just a great effort play and raked it to football, almost had a chance to get the ball out, but got the guy tackled. They had to punt again. But uh, just his speed and athleticism, I mean, you can't replace that. And, and I think that uh, getting him to understand his role, understand the system, playing hard every snap, attacking the passer, just gives us another guy that we have to be able to, to pressure. Because it's, it's always about affecting the quarterback, you know, making him feel uncomfortable, making him um, – we talk about we want to stress him mentally and we want to stress him physically. And that's the two things we really emphasize with our D-line in, in regards to a quarterback. And, and guys like Robert can add to that because of his speed, his burst to the ball. And, you know, because sometimes you, you can't always dial up the perfect, you know, 
every little thing, whether it's a blitz or pressure. You know, sometimes guys just have to win one-on-ones, and he's able to do that. And that's a matter of fact, there was a, a play uh, before that one where he just beat the tackle off the edge, you know, hit the quarterback, and, and we almost got a pick off of it because the ball was, you know, disrupted and not, not thrown because of being hit as he was throwing. And that was just a pure, didn't even have a rush on. We were just calling base front. It was a normal down, and he just simply beat the tackle and, and got hit on the quarterback. So having, having Robert back and getting him in the swing of, of playing at a high level is, is important for us. Well, I think that, uh, you know, he's continued to, you know, produce, which is what uh, we expect from him. And, uh, but, I, but I think in, in the way we attack, the way we play, we want and expect tackles for loss. And, and we want and expect our linebackers and our D-line, even, even our, and our secondary guys, based on the call, uh, to be involved in those. And so he's doing a great job of executing the defense. And he's athletic, he's smart, you know, he cares. Um, he's totally bought in all those things I've said about him in the past. It continues to be true, you know, so I just feel like the guy at that position, you know, that uh, you know, he's going to be around the ball. He's going to be in position to, to create those plays. But, you know, being in position and finishing them is, is two different things. And so he's able to do that. And I just feel like that that position itself is really a, a key spot for us in our defense. And, and he's playing at extremely high level and he's doing well. I'm very, very proud of him.